and girls and welcome to this week's steam video and this week we are presenting you with a challenge that's right a challenge so you're going to be opening up your steam classroom this week and go to your google classroom assignments okay where your classwork is and you have until wednesday to post your results for the challenge okay so open it up on friday and on wednesday it's due and we're gonna tell you now what you need for this speed challenge. You will need a bike, a timer, a, a phone for a timer, a friend to help you time, marked off area, and different surfaces to try out your bike on. Right. Now look, if you go to your phone, if you have a phone, you can go to the clock setting and there's a timer on your clock setting. So you can use that as a timer. And we will be using the distance traveled and the time it takes to calculate your speed. Guys, for this challenge, uh, we're gonna, you're gonna need approximately a measure of 45 yards. Now, in order to do that, what you can do is you can take one big step. So if you start, you take one big step, that's approximately three feet. So you're gonna need 45 of them. So that's 45 yards! Yeah. So we have a starting point here with two cones. And our end point is down there with Mr. De La Rosa. The two cones down there. So that's our distance of 45 yards. So she went from point A to point B in 9.87 seconds. Go. And Miss Lopez made it in 10.21 seconds. of the challenge we're going to try different surfaces we tried the black top street it was very smooth compared to the grass let's see what happens with our timing now that we're going to ride our bikes on the grass more friction or less friction what do you think boys and girls All right, guys, we have one more time to race. We have a special guest coming today. Let's see Does anybody guess know who it is? Who it is? <laughs> uh oh, who's that? Go, Santa, go! Whoa, Santa, so fast! So, in today's video, we learned about approximation, we learned about friction, and we learned about speed. We approximated our distance, or we estimated our distance, to be 45 yards. That was our approximation. In testing friction, we tested the road compared to the grass to see how it affected our speed. In order to calculate speed, we need to use the equation to calculate speed, which is speed equals distance divided by time. So our speed today will be calculated using the unit of measure which we measured in yards and the time was in seconds. So it's how many yards per second did we travel? The speed and I'll So after we calculated the speed using the formula we can see here that Miss Lopez traveled the 45 yards in 4.4 yards per second. That's on the street. On the grass, she traveled 
the 45 yards, in 2.4 yards per second. So she was slower in the grass than she was in the street because she only went 2.4 yards per second. On the street, she went 4.4 yards per second. You'll see that Ms. Sanchez has the same outcome. Ms. Sanchez on the street traveled 4.6 yards per second, and Ms. Sanchez on the grass traveled 2.7 yards per second. So the pattern here is on the grass, each of us were slower than we were on the street. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're interested in more videos and always ask your parents for permission.